Released in October of 2002, Nirvana's greatest hits album was chock full of all their big songs from Nevermind and In Utero and more, but there was one song in particular included on the album that came with a ton of controversy, and that was track number one, You Know You're Right. You Know You're Right was the final song that Dave Grohl, Chris Novoselic, and Kurt Cobain ever recorded together. And that was right at the end of January of 1994, just around two months before Kurt died. The song had never been heard before in the public domain, and there was doubt if it was ever going to be. And that's all because of this little thing called the Nirvana LLC. To sum that up briefly, that is the Nirvana Limited Liability Company. This was set up after the death of Kurt Cobain, and basically it's a four-way split between Courtney Love, Francis Bean, Kurt's daughter, Dave Grohl, and Chris Novoselic, and even split between those four of Nirvana's profits going forward into the future. However, the rare Nirvana song was being hotly contested as to just what should happen with it. Kurt and Chris was wanting the song to be included on a Nirvana box set, while Courtney Love was wanting it to be released on a greatest hit CD. She said, You Know You're Right was a potential hit of extraordinary artistic and commercial value, and she believed the song would be wasted on a box set, and instead it belonged on a single disc compilation. And since all members of the LLC have to agree on something for it to be motioned forward, nothing happened and the song was still being held up. And so we come to late September of 2002 and a joint statement was released between Novoselic, Grohl, and Love that the matter had been settled in court and that You Know Your Right would be officially released on the upcoming Nirvana Greatest Hits album. Eventually, Love, Novoselic, and Grohl did get it together so this song could be released and so we could all hear it. And it kicks off a pretty awesome collection of Nirvana songs. Following You Know You're Right, we've got the only song from Bleach on the album that is about a girl. Then Been a Son, with this particular version only being previously available on a UK limited release. Sliver from Incesticide, then we go on to all the big hits from Nevermind. And then you've got all the big hits from In Utero, including a previously unreleased version of Penny Royalty that was the Scott Lit remix. Then the album ends with three songs from the band's unplugged performance, All Apologies, The Man Who Sold the World, and of course, Where Did You Sleep Last Night? A great way to finish off there. David Frick from Rolling Stone wrote the liner notes for the album and finished with this sentiment. This is the world Kurt built for himself when the real world was not enough. Listen again if you think you know it. Listen loud if you don't know it yet. Then build your own. <laughs> 